Can can you hear me speaking? I'm going to try and have the chat box up on my phone so I can see stuff. Okay, cool. Um, um, Cool, um, so I wanted to do a breakdown of stuff. I don't know what this, and I'm new to Twitch, so I don't know what this stuff is. First thing, I don't know when I'm supposed to, I always see people um, saying things like, uh, Thanks for the, uh, where'd it go? Sub tier one. I don't know what this stuff means. So I'm going to try my best to talk and, or maybe I'll just talk after the, yeah, maybe I'll just leave questions for after the thing. Cause it's going to be too confusing. Cause I don't have two screens. Um, Gonna go through the breakdown of everything in this song. <clears throat> Is that coming through cool? That's um that's coming through. And can you hear me? Fine. I'm gonna assume that it's all fine. Um okay cool. So I'm going to try and talk through the process of the, I'm going to put the phone there. I'm going to put through the process of how these songs come together too, in case this like helps. Cause I think these little things can help. I'm just going to put the phone somewhere. Um, Okay, cool. So the first noise is this. That was made by... This is the original sample. This is a song I did for an exhibition piece in an, in Amsterdam years ago um it's the a cappella of that um <clears throat> the a cappella of that i was just going through lo little bits of it and yes yeah, this oh and it's dry it sounds like this just quite dramatic but you get enunciations which you didn't normally get if you're just like da 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 so then I was just going through it and then you get You get this whole thing. Iris has a great distortion on it, um, which becomes, you know, it compresses everything too. So I put um, EQ on that. Just use simpler. I mean, it's all samplers are basically do the same thing. It's just whichever thing you, I mean, Ableton and Logic almost do the same thing. It's just what interface you're comfortable with. Um, some people, just hate the look of something and some people like I can't use Ableton because I the visually I don't understand it. But um simpler is as good as this, yeah. Um 
Um, and then I had that loop. I really liked that. Oh yeah, so without without the stuff on it. It's just... Pitch shifter. EQ, VEQ, really good, really simple. Just turn up the highs. Distortion. And that was sitting on, um, and that was sitting like on my laptop for weeks and I just liked the idea. I put the, um, I put the bass, the, the notes out into this, into a June, which is good. Same ba same bass line. Put the chords out. And it was sitting like that. I just had this sort of, I remember it was basically just this. I just, I really liked that. That was it. And I just kind of, I left it there for like, I felt like it had something to it, but I didn't really know what. And simultaneously, I had this other idea, which is, I have tried Iris too. I just didn't. It's too complicated. <clears throat> and then I had this other idea on my laptop that was just these chords. I think I was in my Danielle Harl feelings. This, it was probably like this. point I was just working on the, the two ideas um, the, the two ideas were just I remember I remember thinking that they would they would probably go well together because they were the same speed they were in different keys um, um, they would, uh, sorry. Um, this, this wasn't the actual session I did the project on. It was an old one, so I had to like, and this is the unmixed version too. So I had these two separate ideas, these chords, and just put them together to make a verse and a chorus. I just dragged in that other idea and it, it worked quite well. June is the thing that carries most of the synthesizers. It's just a very good synth. I'm going to try and answer as much questions afterwards because otherwise I'll just 
get confused and forget stuff. So that's pretty much that. The, the ARP, the arpeggiator in Logic is really good. So yeah, then you just have song structure, intro, verse, chorus, and that's kind of all I really, then I feel like I'm in a safe place with the song because um, having something that, having a verse and a cor have a chorus, my goal is always to have the chorus and the verse be as strong as each other. I don't, you don't want a song with an amazing chorus but the verses suck. The dream is to just have hooks everywhere. And when I when I had and when I have that I was just um you sit and you just try and think of melodies and I had this melody in my head for a really uh, long time That's, I felt like that was the hook. Um, tried to fit words to that. I don't know why Angel on my shoulder came, but it was just, it fit the, it just fit, and I'd be like, the, the phrase. Um, uh, and then it's up to you how you want to, me melodies always come first for me, and then it's just trying to fit in the words. Um, so in that, it's just this, Pad. June, June again. Actually, there's a synth here as well. Uh, there's a good vocoder called vocal synth, and that happens in the verse when. So it sounds like this. But if you side chain it to something like a a rhythm, you get. Vocal synth, really good. I don't use it for my vocoder stuff. Um, but I use it for kind of more like scratchy effects, uh, like that. Um, it's really, it's really good. Um, then.
drums. The drums are very simple in this song because I used to have this obsessed need to have everything I was obsessed with this idea that you could have drums be drums but not drums so you could have like a kick drum but it wasn't a kick drum or a snare but it's not a snare and this kind of thinking kind of got me nowhere because um, kick drums function they 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 work and I was I'm obsessed with this idea that it has to be as hard as a kick drum but it's not a kick drum because I was obsessed with music that I didn't really understand like you know Hudson Mohawk and Aphex Twin and Square Pressure and you know everyone else in that world where the drums you just can't figure out what's going on but you should always just have the standard drums standard sounds for drums like they work for like a reason um but have one or two layers on with the drum that makes it sound weird that gives it that kind of thing where you're like I, I, I love that noise but I can't figure out what that noise is reverse kicks are good Gateway. These are just really simple things. I mean, they don't sound individually. They don't sound that interesting. But I think when you, I like. I like to do this thing with hi hats where you shorten down the the loop uh, so that it reverses on itself quite quickly. But, you know, you put some... Uh, I mean, go really into this. Everything just had... No, there's not much effects on anything either. It's all just very much just some EQs, some compressors. Um, this is my favorite compressor. API. That. 2500. Mm. It's not on that, but... If you're looking for a good compressor. And then... I'm going to save the stream, it's going to be up on the channel afterwards. Lots of drum breaks in this song as well. Second verse is just breaks. T. 
two different brakes at the same time. Everything here is really simple as well in terms of effects, just a bit of reverb on everything. Um, what else? Uh, I'll get into the vocals in a minute. Um, key changes are always fun. I mean, I I try and have. I I'm always doing this when I use when I'm on Logic. It's just. So I, you're always hearing the same song in multiple different ver versions, which can be quite frustrating if you're married to a version where you have it at a certain speed and a certain key, and then you slow it down and you love it. Because then maybe you want to have a whole, but then that changes the, what kind of song it is, where it fits, the, every, yeah. So. That's why I was an, end up having a bunch of key changes in the track because I'm kind of married to one, two, two versions really. Uh, Contact is a very good piano. Una, una corda is a very good piano VST. Daniel Harl showed me this one. Key change. This was another idea I had for the for the break. I had a, another vocal idea. Yes, yeah. It was okay. Wasn't that good. Didn't like it that much. Um, wasn't strong enough, I thought. So the production end of things is quite... Um, that's... I like to have layers of things like heavy underneath. So you got the piano. But underneath it, there's just these like knocks. So everything has this like it, it it just makes us I don't know why I like it kind of the piano already sounds real enough. Uh yeah, the reason it's called fucking Nidia is because it's the a cappella this It's actually a sample of my song you got the fever. Which is a stupid, stupid, stupid vocal. So. Sounds good. I would just always recommend using your voic, uh, your voic, your vocals for synths because you just get these unnatural and natural uh, discrepancies, I guess.
It's just fun. That's why it's called fucking Ninja. Um, the details like that, yeah. So like the, the just the rumbles of things. Just I don't know why I like it. I just do. It just sounds good. And then the last bit of the vocals of the production. Let me see if there's anything else. I mean, everything's just. The, yeah, as I said, the drums are just very basic if you just isolate them. Um, show the respace, what's that? What mic do you use for vocals? Called a no Newman uh, TLM one hundred two. I'll write that down. Hold on. TLM one hundred two. It's good. Do you record via UAD? Yes. Uh, it's, yeah. The resources of both reverb synth, I mean, that's just the June doing, uh, filtered down. Simple. So on the last part, and then it goes into this like a cappella ending, and then I'll get onto the vocals. But the a cappella ending is just I'll show you, and this is kind of how this is a fun. Uh, this just it's kind of time consuming, but it definitely works. So you map out all the you learn all the individual notes from the chord progression. And you just sing it note by note. In this, it, that sounds kind of obvious, but like to get the it's not because people always ask if it's a vocoder, but um, no. So it sounds this is what it sounds like bit by bit. Sounds nice. You can't really get any kind of synth to sound that way. And then so that, and then this is the break before the end ending. Kind of churchy. Um, 
I used to do it. I used to do it on a in a different logic because CPU, but the new laptops are quite good. I'll talk about the lyrics too, yeah. There's a good, vo like, I always layer, I try and layer all vocals with distorted vocals of the same thing. Isotope Trash is this, it's really good. <laughs> Groups of kids, that's kind of the, well not actual kids, but me. Um, my it sounds funny. I think it sounds kind of cute. Um, yeah, vocals. Having um, the song is about so the concept of the track, or the, the the meaning of the song was this idea of um, um, uh, people that you will never meet because of stuff like death and people who just like never born. And this idea that those people are... Because I was looking at my friend. And I was thinking like... It'd be crazy. It, like what I imagine we never met. Because that this person meant so much to me. And then... Means so much to me. And then... I was just thinking, well... There are people that I have never met. That I have no idea what they would have been... To me. But in a separate reality... I'm... I can't imagine a life without them. So I'm talk. The song is about th this is the reality in which those people don't exist. But what if those people are like guardian angels? I mean, I'm not going to get into the, actually quoting the lyrics, but you can look at them up. Stacking vocals. I mean, that's just the my advice to anyone is if you're recording your thing just multiple thousands of takes this isn't a lot of takes but reverse reverb So you got like the main vocal sitting on top, but then these kind of like ghost choirs in the back, as well as just you know different. To get these kind of spook vocals, it 
it's just you, per, you just reverse it's like a section that i think most reverbs have where you just press reverse Mm, as many different moods as you can get in one to one song, I think, is the key for me. Um, vocally, so if you can have sections where it's kids, sounds like not kids, but in this example, it sounds like kids. Low octaves, high octaves, like versions where it's just because in the first verse, you start off with just this one vocal. And then the chorus comes in and there's just a bit more vocals. And then the second verse comes in, there's even more vocals. So it just sounds like there's more and more people coming into the room. And then by the second chorus, there's like kids. And then by the end of the song, it's just... It's just voice. I try and... Not all the time, but I feel like a way to... The way I build my song, my some songs, is... It's almost like it starts, the song starts where the production leads and the vocal, the vocal is like secondary and as the track goes up, the production falls away more and the vocals become the, the main thing. So they're kind of swapping as the song goes on because then it's like you give a root, you give room for the production to shine and the vocal to just kind of be the the pop element and then you get the vocals to shine and the production just to carry the vocals it's just like take i i think i found that that works for me uh I, the song i need nothing from you is like a good example of that just like slowly more and more and more things come in because if you you know you can just Depends on how the song is structured. This is really just for music where it's like verse, chorus, verse. I mean, this otherwise you can't really. It might not make sense, but that's just my how I work. I just found this video on YouTube and it was just because like, there was this moment of people using tables as drums and I just remembered that point in time and I, it came to my head when I was doing it and I wanted those to be the drums. I don't know how what else to go into. I think I kind of covered it all. So I'm going to try and answer questions now. Do you have any questions? Simu Fasitu. Cheered. I don't know what that means. Thanks. Absolute Chad. Thanks. Man in them. Why was this never a single? Dunno. How do you translate this to live performance? I just say live performance I just mute all the vocals. The so the, li the live version of this would be all the vocals turned down quite a bit, so I can just sing them again. The, the knock layer for the piano uh, it's clocks it's lots of clocks if I take away the filter
cherub imminent means you're about to become an angel. Or there's an angel about to appear. It's imminent. The cherub is like there. It's imminent. Uh, imminent. Hold on. Serum? Yeah, I love serum. How do you work out structure and transi transitions? Um... Uh, I don't use auto tune in 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 logic. Well, I do. There's like a really basic one sometimes, but the uh, there's a. I mean, usually a little bit, but there's a flex pitch in logic, which is amazing. When the night comes, I can. When the night comes, I can hear you whisper. When the night comes, I can hear you whisper. And he whisper. And he whisper. Uh, cause, and that's fun because you can write melodies, brand new melodies by just playing around with it. Plugins on my main vocals: compressor, deesser. Takes away the S, the sharp S's. Basic logic reverb. EQ, VEQ. It's a waves plugin. They're all waves. Um, why do you like? With plugins, it's just the simplest thing. Which, whichever is the less things on it, I is nice. I don't like looking at a plugin and there's like a billion fucking things in it. If it's an EQ, I just need to be able to turn up the high end. So there you go. Cool, just turn up the high end. Simple. I just like the simple interfaces. I think I'm gonna go because I think that covered all of it. What song should I do next? Johnny Depp. Cicada. Masochism. I'm gonna do only seen God because a lot of these songs that you're suggesting are actually quite it would take two minutes and it's not really actually interesting, but I think there's a bunch of stuff on Only Seen God which you could probably learn some tricks, which is the point of these things I guess. I don't see the point. Unless you can actually like learn some shit. Cool. I'm gonna go and leave this up and hopefully that was helpful because I can't think of anything else to cover. Yeah, no, that was it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>